Hey guys, Mikey here. Uh, I thought I'd do some updated videos today for you to show you how to um, set up your mining rigs with the two most common software uh, pieces that are used for GPU mining. I get, I get, you know, questions pretty much every day on Facebook and other social media asking how to set it up, what I need to do, those sorts of things. So I thought I'd create this video to make it a lot easier for everyone to understand and also follow along. Um, so today what we're going to be showing you guys how to use is the um, Claymore um, Ethereum miner and that can be used for Ethereum, um, ETC and EXP most commonly. Um, it can be used for anything that uses the EdHash algorithm okay and I'll show you guys how to do all that and the other one I'm going to show you guys how to set up today is the Claymore Zcash miner so that can be used for um, anything related to Zcash itself which uses the Equihash um, algorithm okay and gonna go over some advantages disadvantages and so forth as to, as to sort of why you want to be mining certain things and and what's going to probably work for your setup depending on how big and how many mining rigs you've got um, so let's get started on first of all I'm going to show you guys how to do the uh, basically how to set up the um, configuration files and I'm going to put all these configuration files in the description below so you can easily just copy paste them and then you can choose your own wallet and select your own wallet um, you know you can add your own wallet into the um, description I'll show you guys how to, how to change that bit so let's get into it now to download these pieces of software guys I'll put these links in here as well the, this this software at the moment we're using the ethereum 10.1 which is current up to date and the Zcash 12.6 which is current up to date now these two uh, links the uh, the pinned post or the first post in each of the links constantly gets updated and the instructions for using this video are basically have been the same you know for the last at least six months 12 months or so um, in relation to putting your actual configuration file together so if you do update the software at any point, you can realistically just copy your existing configuration file back over and it'll start working on the newer version. Okay, so I'll put these links in the in the description below and where you want to come into each one of these to download is you want to use the mega link, the Google Drive link sometimes doesn't work properly. So obviously just click on here. It'll take you to the mega link. Okay, which is a sharing service and you want to download I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the Windows setup today so you want to download the Catalyst version which is the latest version so version 10.1 in the Ethereum side and to download it you just double click the file and it'll go into a queue and it'll start downloading the file so while that's downloading I've already downloaded these files guys so this one here is the Ethereum version okay and realistically what we want to do is um, you want to find the start file okay and you can right click on this file and go to edit all right and that'll bring up uh, this uh, this screen here now I've already pre-filled all of this out and I'm currently using this um, at the moment so what I'll do is I'll copy this into the description below now the part that you need to change yourself is this is currently set up to uh, to mine uh, exp at the moment so if you want to mine any of the other pools okay you need to change the pool description and to find the pool description okay you just need to google something like ethereum pool um, pool or ethereum classic pool you know any of these sort of different pools can be used so ethermine is obviously a very um, very commonly used one they do pay they do the, the pool is very good and you can come in here you can mine ETH and ETC on this pool, Zcash as well. So basically if you want to, you know, you can copy this uh, section down here, which is what we're using, this one here. Okay, you can see these, you fill in these parts. I've already filled in these parts and I've got some extra details in there as well. So, you know, if you wanted to mine Ethereum, okay, use this pool. Okay, so what you'd do is you'd come in here you'd copy this and I'll put one of these pools in there as well okay so you'd copy this over the top of this file here you would paste that in okay and that would change your pool to be mine in Ethereum um, 
Was there a double up there? Um, and then basically you, your wallet. So you put in your wallet. Okay, now you can get your wallet. Now I mine directly to um, Poloniex and to Bitrex. To do that, you basically you log into your Poloniex. If you're using Poloniex, you go to your deposits and withdrawals. You go down to whichever coin you want to do, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, or EXP. You click on the deposit button. It'll show your wallet address. You copy that and paste it into this file. Okay, now for EXP, the pools have slightly different commands that need to be done. This one needs a slash and then a worker name. So this worker name is just M2, mining2. Okay, uh, for mining Ethereum on this pool, on the Ether mine, you actually put a dot rig name. So you change this to dot M2, for example. Okay. Um, this password thing is standard. If you want to mine either EXP or Ethereum Classic, you need to have all coins one in. Okay. If you don't want to mine, if you just want to mine Ethereum itself, you do not need this command. This command is only for Ethereum Classic and EXP or any other at hash coin. And what I've got in here is some pretty generic values, okay? So you can actually change your core clock, your memory clock, and your voltages depending on what cards you've got. Now I'm running Radon um, RX480, eight gig models. So these values at the moment seem to be pretty good with what I'm actually doing as far as power usage and that sort of thing. Um, you know, this can go all the way up to 2250 if you can get it stable. Obviously, you're going to use more power, so you need to find the the values that are that are the best for you. And this uh, LIDAG one at the end of it is basically if you're running, uh, most people are running seller on CPUs. Now, if you're running seller on CPU, uh, this LIDAG one basically puts a little bit load, a little bit less load on the actual CPU itself. And because I've seen some errors pop up from time to time without this in, so I've added this as a bit of a safety net. And then the reason why I've got these voltages and so forth in here as well is if your machine um, fails or stops running, okay, I've added in and I'll add the batch file command in for you guys and where to find your startup location. Um, I've added a batch file in. So when my computer, when my mining rig turns on, it runs the startup file, which then runs this file. Okay, and it resets these values back again. Because sometimes what happens is if your machine crashes or stops responding, it'll actually reset back to default values because it has crashed. So I put this in the actual file. So every time if something happens, it makes sure the correct values are set in there instead of having to go into each one of your cards every time and change the values manually, okay? So this alone can save you um, a crap load of time and make it a lot easier to manage and so forth. So that's how to do the Ethereum, Ethereum Classic and EXP side. As I said guys in the description below, I'll add each one of these in there and I'll, I'll label it so it's easy for you to just copy paste. The only thing you need to change is going to be your wallet address, okay? And obviously find out which coin is for that wallet. Otherwise if I'm, I'll leave these pools in here that I'm mining to and they're the pools that I've tested that seem to be the best. Okay, so that's that's current as of today. You can do your own testing and so forth. Okay, so that's how to do the Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, and um, um, Expanse, EXP. Now, before we touch on the Zcash side, there is um, a very good website which is called whattomine.com. Again, I'll put it in the description below. If you want to mine something other than those three coins or other than Zcash, for example, you can come in here, you can go into coins. Okay, so Ethereum uses a, an algorithm called at hash. Now, if you come into coins, okay, you can basically go through each one of these coins and it'll tell you what algorithm it uses. So realistically, if, the, if, if you find another coin that you want to mine called that, that uses the algorithm at hash, you can mine that coin with Claymore's dual miner. Okay, and you can go in, you find the pool for it, you put the pool detail in, you put your wallet address in, and that's all you need to change, okay? It'll mine the rest of any other coin which is doing at hash for you. So what to mine.com. Also under the GPU section, for example, you can come in here, you can put in your hash rates. Okay, so here's here's my dwarf pool 
here's my EXP so these machines here are offline because I've moved them over to the uh, to another coin you know this machine here for example M2 that's a six card rig so it's pulling about 176 so you put 176 in here you put your power usage in okay you put your daily cost in this is in US dollars as well if you want to convert US dollars open Google and you go AUD to USD you put in your whatever cents you're paying per kilowatt so let's say you're paying 22 cents per kilowatt okay so 0 0.22 Australian dollars is 17 US dollars at the moment so you can come in here you can put in 0 0.17 okay you can hit calculate and it gives you the values based upon what you're going to be earning from from that rig okay so for example ethereum you know you're looking at about eight dollars eighty seven per day five dollars thirty six profit after electricity costs if you were to if you were to mine the coin right now and sell it at current market value now the reason i mine directly to poloniex and bitrex is i trade my coins so i'll set higher um higher sell orders on those coins and i'll actually make a larger profit margin than just mining selling mining selling mining selling and so forth okay so that's how to use this site okay and the, the ethereum side now let's get into the um again claim or zcash side come into the mega link download the mega link okay it'll download it for you <clears throat> basically same sort of program guys you edit the start okay we have the same commands in here the only difference is this part here which is obviously it has a, it has a different command for the pool you put your pool in again you find your wallet address from you know for for this coin which is called zen okay i'm mining this directly to bitrex okay and again need the all pools in and then again at the end you've got the commands now the only difference with this one is the Zcash side doesn't have that LIDAG option, okay, L-I-D-A-G option, which basically limits the, because Zcash doesn't obviously need to create what they call a DAG file, okay, so you don't need as much stress on your CPU with this setup. Okay, so again, description below, I'm going to put in how to mine Zcash itself, and then I'm also going to put in a description the same as this one here, how to mine Zencoin, which is basically another, um, another coin which uses the same algorithm as Zcash. So I'll show you guys what I mean. So Zcash uses Equihash. Okay, Zcash Equihash here, it tells you. Now if I go to coins, I'll show you what I mean. This is one I'm mining at the moment, Zen. Okay, and algorithm is Equihash. So again, any other coins that you find that uh, using say Equihash, you can use the Zcash Claymore Miner on there as well. Okay guys, so I hope this video has helped you. Um, I'm going to also put in the description how to mine, how to dual mine with Zcash. Uh, sorry, not how to dual mine with Zcash, how to dual mine with the Ethereum Miner. Um, because with the Ethereum Miner, you can also mine other coins like Sirecoin if you want to mine Sirecoin. Again, it's just extra extra description in here so I'll add another um, one of these down there for say mining ethereum plus sire coin okay um, if you did like this video guys please follow me on Facebook okay just zilge TV Z I L J T V also the same uh, same handle on Twitter okay and you're obviously watching this video on YouTube same handle on um, same handle on YouTube, okay? Z I L J T V. So thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys next time. Take it easy.